What's going on growers? It's James Pigioni coming to you live from Jersey. August is here and me and Tuck are still planting. So today we want to share with you 10 crops you could still plant in August. Let's go! We are now in the second half of the growing season. So to figure out what we still have time to plant, first we need to find out when our first expected frost date is. This way we can see how many frost free days we have left to actually grow. So what I like to do when finding my first expected frost date is I'll go online, use the old farmer's almanac, put my zip code in. This gives me my first expected frost date and lets me know how many frost free days I have left to grow stuff. I live in zone 7A and my first expected frost date is October 15th. That gives me about 75 frost free days left to grow. It's important to note that this date, it's only a guesstimate. So there's a 30% chance that the frost will either come earlier or after this date. But this date serves as a great guidepost to let us know when we should start actually getting our full seeds into the ground. The first crop you can still plant in August are peas. And peas grow best in the early spring and in the fall. So now is a great time to start getting your peas planted for the fall garden. Peas are a cold hardy crop that will continue to produce after a light frost. One of the issues with peas at this time of the year though, might be germination. So what I like to do is, before I plant my pea seeds, I like to first soak them for 24 hours. What this does is it starts a germination process before I even get my seeds planted into the ground. One thing about peas and beans also, is that they provide their own nitrogen. So we don't wanna add any nitrogen fertilizer at this time, because if we do, then the plants might focus mostly just on a leaf growth, as opposed to the production of peas. So we're not gonna add any nitrogen fertilizer or anything when we're planting them. A big issue that I have had with peas in the past is that the birds love to get my plants, especially when they're young. So you'll notice I built this sort of cage where I have some hardware cloth on three sides, and then I just take an insect netting and I bring it over top. Then I'll put a piece of wood down at the bottom. And what this does is it makes it so none of the birds can get to my peas. I'm also in a location that gets a lot of sun because I've got a white fence right up against it. So another thing I'll do is if it's just way too hot of a day for the peas, I'll take something like my shade cloth that I have back here, my 40% shade cloth, and I'll cover my peas with this if I find it necessary just to give them a little bit of support. The second crop that you can still plant in August is Tuck's all-time favorite veggie, carrots. Most varieties of carrots take about 70 to 80 days to mature. So we want to give about two to three months before our first expected frost date to get these carrots planted. And that happens to be about right now for me. Carrots will survive a frost and the cold weather actually makes them sweeter and taste better. But the cold weather also slows down their growth. So if you feel like you're cutting it close when it comes to carrots, I would plant some varieties that are quick cropping. For instance, the Napoli carrot only takes about 55 days from seed to harvest. The mokum carrot only takes about 48 days from seed to harvest. So these are a lot shorter of a crop than your typical 70 to 80 day varieties. So if you're cutting it close, these would be a good idea to get into the ground. Planting carrots at this time of the year can be tricky because the weather is so hot and dry and the carrots need at least a week or two of consistent moisture in order to germinate. The other thing that makes carrots tough at this time of the year is they don't like to be covered with a mulch. So we need to make sure this area will stay damp for a considerable amount of time in order to get good germination. So what I like to do is I plant all my carrots in the square foot guarding method and I'll use this carrot board trick to do so. So I'll put the board down, mark out where the carrots will be planted, then I'll lift them up, plant my carrots 16 per square feet, then water it all in, and then I'll take this board and cover the carrots with a board. I'll leave that board on there for about four or five days. Then I'll come out every day and check if my carrots have sprouted. Once I see that these have sprouted, I'll take the board off. This works excellent to make sure you get good germination at a time of year where it's just so dang hot out. Before I move on to the next crop, I just want to mention we only have about a week or two left for the merch. So if you want to grab some summer merch, grab it while you still can. It's a limited time thing. The third crop that we can still plant in August are beets. And beets typically take about 55 to 70 days from seed to harvest. And they're pretty cold hardy, just like carrots. Uh, just like carrots too, beets typically you can plant about the same time. So now is a good time to start getting our beets into the ground. Like carrots, beets can be a little tough to germinate at this time of the year. So a good trick is to soak your beet seeds for 12 hours before you actually put them out the plant. This way they start the germination process before you actually get the seeds into the ground. Beets are awesome because not only are they a great root crop, but also you can eat the leaves. So heading into the winter, you can have that great uh, root crop when it gets nice and cold out, but it's convenient because you can eat the leaves. You can eat even up to one third of the leaves on the plant without damaging it. So we'll get these beets planted into the ground. 
The fourth crop that we can still plant in August is kale. Kale is one of the most cold hardy plants out there. I've had some uh, red Russian kales and some white Russian kales in the past for me grow through the whole entire winter and even be alive in the spring. There is still plenty of time to plant kale because unlike cabbage or broccoli, the kale, you can eat just the leaves. So you don't have to wait for like a cabbage to head up or a cauliflower to head up before you really start eating it because there's not that much time left. If you wanna to try to plant something like a cabbage still or a cauliflower, it's gonna definitely be cutting it close. So if you think you could push your luck and get some cabbages or cauliflowers planted, just make sure you plant some quick producing varieties. For instance, if you're gonna grow cabbage, go with something like the early Jersey Wigfield cabbage. It only takes about 63 days from seed to harvest. So it's still plenty of time for kale. In regards to cauliflower, broccoli, or cabbage, you're gonna be cutting it close. The fifth crop that you can still plant in August is lettuce. Lettuce is a quick growing, cold hardy plant, so you can start planting your lettuce now and continue to plant seeds up until September. One thing about the lettuce is I like to start my lettuce in trays because lettuce can be tricky to get up because the seeds are tiny like carrots. The main difference from lettuce and carrots is you can't use the carrot board trick on lettuce because lettuce seeds actually need a flash of light in order to germinate. So what I do is I start my lettuce seeds in cells and then I'll put them into bigger pots just like you see here. Then I'll transplant these into the garden. I make sure when I'm transplanting my lettuce into the garden that I pick a day where it's nice and cloudy, maybe a little bit of rain, or I make sure that I have some shade cloth that I can cover the lettuces with just so they can adjust to their new home easily. The sixth crop that we can still plant in August is spinach. Now, spinach is a super cold hardy plant and it actually does better planting it later in August. So I'm not gonna plant it today at this time of the year, but in later August, I'll get some of my spinach planted. Talk you thirsty boy. This guy probably wants some water. It's getting hot out here. So just like most other seeds at this time of the year, germinating your spinach can be a bit tricky because germination of the spinach seeds is based on temperature. So basically, if we put our spinach seeds in the ground right now, the soil temperature is so warm that the germination rate of the spinach seeds is gonna drop down to like 50% or lower. To compensate for this, what you can do is you can take your spinach seeds, you can put them in the freezer for a few days. After that, you can take them out of the freezer and put them in like a moistened paper towel and put that in the refrigerator for a couple days. After that, take it out and then plant them into the ground. What we're essentially doing is mimicking what would happen in nature. So it's like kind of like putting them through the winter in the freezer and then the early spring in the refrigerator. And then that's what kind of unlocks the seed to be able to germinate it and open it so you get good germination for your spinach. Spinach is really cool too because it's so cold hardy. With just a simple frame, you could be growing spinach literally through the winter and still have fresh spinach growing in the spring. The seventh crop that we can still plant in August are Asian greens. Some of these varieties tend to be delicious and incredibly cold hardy. They seem to do best heading into fall because if you plant them in the spring, for me, they tend to bolt relatively quickly. Some of the ones that I love so much are the tatsoi, the bok choy, and even the pak choy. I'm not gonna plant these just yet. I like planting them later in August because if you plant these too early and you get some hot days, then they'll actually bolt and go to seed when they're young. The eighth crop that you can still get planted in August is Swiss chard. If you're like me and you already have Swiss chard growing, then just let it do its thing and it will continue to produce into winter and it will even continue to produce through winter if you cover it. But if you don't have it planted, there's still plenty of time to get your Swiss chard into the ground. When it comes to planting Swiss chard, there's no really specific tricks or things you need to know when planting the Swiss chard. It's relatively easy to plant, relatively easy to grow, so you got to get it in while you still can. The ninth crop that you can still plant in August are radishes. Radishes are extremely cold hardy and also produce fast, so it's good to start getting these into the ground. You can start planting them now and continue to plant them up until September. One thing to think about is the variety. So some of the varieties produce extremely fast, like the French breakfast radish. I probably wouldn't plant those today, but something like the um, the Chinese red meat radish, this thing takes 60 days. So if you wanna grow this one, it's probably about time now to start getting it into the ground. For the 10th crop that you could still plant in August, I've grouped together a few of my favorite super cold hardy crops. So these ones, I'm gonna wait a little bit until I actually plant them into the ground, a little bit like later August, but they're a bit more obscure than some of, your, some of the other crops that I've shared, but they're extremely valuable, really good to get into the ground. The first one is Claytonia, also known as miner's lettuce. This thing is awesome. I've grown it through the whole entire winter without being covered. It's delicious. It gives you a nice little snack in the spring too because it grows all year long. Then we've got Mashi. This is a great one as well. 
A bit of a nutty flavor, pretty good and extremely cold hardy. Arugula, which is one we all know about, a good nutty flavor to it. There's also uh, Mizuna, which is really good, and Sorrel. I like the red Sorrel best, but these are like a group of super cold hardy ones that are a bit more obscure, but they grow so well through the winter and you can still get them planted at this time of the year. That's how these video growers, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you got something out of it. I made a video like this similar in the past where I talked about a few other veggies that you could start in August as well. I mentioned that you could grow some cucumbers and some green beans. I didn't mention them in this video because if you want to actually grow green beans and cucumbers in August at this time of the year, you really have to make sure that you get them planted into the ground right now and you can only plant really quick producing varieties. For instance, if you want to grow cucumbers, I would only grow something like the Socrates. It takes about like 54 days from seed to harvest. And if you're going to grow beans, I would grow something like the Royal Burgundy bush bean that thing only takes about 53 days from seed to harvest too so you could push your luck and try to get some of those things in but there's no guarantee that you're going to get a harvest before the frost actually comes so i wanted to stick with uh, veggies that you still have plenty of time to plant at this time of the year in really early august so I wanted to mention before I let you guys go to grab some of the summer merch down at jamesprigioni.com. This is a limited time thing. We only have a week or two left where we're going to be having this merch. So if you do like the summer merch, if you want to remember summer 22, you know, the greatest summer in the garden that I've ever had, me and Tuck, then grab one of the shirts. I also wanted to thank one of the new channel members, Jimmy Chan Chandler. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for contributing. Thanks for making all the dreams that me and Tuck have possible out here. Just enjoying the tomatoes. Look at the size of some of these tomatoes right here. Soon we're gonna have to do another harvest because there's just such an incredible amount of food that we need to eat. We got the boss right next to me here. He's been out here dedicated. You can see he's buried some snacks for next year. He's got his next round of cucumbers planted for the following year. So this guy, He's always working, he's always out here. So make sure you spam some hearts down in the comments for the boss, hit the subscribe button if you love seeing the videos and we're just gonna be back to you guys soon with another video and we hope you guys have a blast. Maybe close as much fun as we did. James and Tuck will be back to you again real soon. We out.